What's up everybody? Welcome to Rotor Riot Workbench. I'm Let's Fly RC, and today I'm going to walk you through how to change the camera cable on your DJI O3 FPV system. The tools you will need for this are a tiny Phillips head screwdriver and a 2mm hex driver. I like to use a magnet to hold all my screws so I don't lose them. It's also really good to magnetize your tools to help you with removing the screws. If you haven't already, go ahead and remove the four M2 screws out of the sides of the camera with the 2mm hex driver. Place them on the magnet. Next, we want to take out the two tiny Phillips head screws from the side of the camera and place them on the magnet so they don't get lost. Next, we want to slide the camera case apart, being very gentle and very careful not to rip apart the cable that's inside. There's a very small length of cable between the camera case and the connector on the end of the camera. The next step is to gently remove the connector from the camera. The metal camera cable is the center of three metal bars that go from left to right across this camera. One, two, three. We want to pry up on only the center piece, not the outer two pieces. I actually like to use a very sharp razor blade for this step because it's a lot easier than trying to use the screwdriver. Get the razor blade up under the black part at the end of the center piece and very gently pry up until it pops up. Once one side pops up, the other side releases very easily and your camera cable has been removed. Set the camera aside and now we're going to work on getting the camera cable out of the casing. On the back of the camera casing, there is a square rubber grommet. We're going to use our very sharp razor blade to very gently pry up on the rubber square grommet and dislodge it from the back of the camera case, one side at a time, being very careful not to poke the camera cable. And it'll come out just like that. Set that aside. The camera cable is glued on to the inside of the camera case, so we have to use extra care and not damage the cable. So we're going to use our M2 hex driver to gently push on the glue from the outside in to release it from the inside of the camera case. And there we go. The glue has been removed from the inside of the camera case. Now we should be able to take the camera cable, turn it sideways, and pull it out through the rectangular hole at the back of the camera, being very careful not to damage the cable. Guide it through the hole very gently ensuring that nothing gets snagged or hung up on the hole. There we go. The cable's been removed from the camera case. Now that we have the camera cable removed from the camera, we can remove it from the air unit. Flip the air unit upside down on its back and use the same tiny Phillips screwdriver to remove two Phillips screws from the back of the case. Be sure to remember that these screws are slightly longer than the camera screws when you place them on the magnet. This piece should pop right off, set it aside. Now we're gonna use the same step we used to pop the camera cable loose from the camera to remove the camera cable from the VTX. We're gonna use the very sharp end of the razor blade to pop up the center piece of these three lines. If you pry up the center very gently, once you get one side released, both sides should come off very easily, just like that. You see how it has two outer edges here and a center slot? That's where this cable is gonna go back in. Now that we have our camera cable removed, we can install the new cable. I've purchased a longer version of the cable. This is a 200 millimeter version to allow me to make a custom camera mount that reaches farther forward than the standard cable does. We're gonna install this back in reverse order. We'll start by lining up the video transmitter side of the camera cable and very gently pressing it in place. You should be able to feel it lock in place if you get it lined up properly. I just like to use my fingernail and push down on it in the center if you do it correctly, it'll be lined up and locked in place. Now we're going to reinstall the locking plate. Place the locking plate in this orientation, back on top of the bottom of the air unit. Find your two longer screws and screw them back in. Next, we'll reinstall the camera side of the camera cable to the camera itself. We'll start by threading it through the rectangular shaped hole that we pulled it out of earlier. Line it up with the rectangular shaped hole and slide it through. Be very careful not to damage the cable as you slide it through. Squeeze it if you need to, to make it fit through better. Now that the cable is back through, we can place the rubber square grommet back in place. The square rubber grommet has a slot in it. Slide the slot over the cable just like this and then slide it back in place into the back of the DJI camera. Just massage it with your fingers a little bit and it'll eventually go back in place. Once you have it mostly in place, 
you can use your two millimeter hex driver to finish the job. Be careful when sliding this backwards now because you might actually pull the grommet out. Try to get about the approximate same length that we had previously by sliding it backwards. It's up to you if you feel the need to put the glue back in here. I think the glue will help a little bit with waterproofing, but this camera casing isn't 100% waterproof and the glue really probably just keeps the cable from slipping out and pulling on the camera itself. I'll probably be changing this camera cable out more than once, so I'm not gonna bother putting the glue back in. Be very careful using hot glue because if it's too hot, it could damage these cables. So maybe use some silicone or some shoe goo or even some E6000 if you wanna put glue back in there. If you look at the camera cable very closely, you can see the connection points that it makes with the camera itself. And those need to face down into the camera. So we're going to place those facing down into the camera and we're gonna press it down. We're gonna press it in place just like we did with the video transmitter, using our fingernail to lock it in place. Once you're sure that you have it lined up properly, you can use your two millimeter hex driver to gently press on it to make sure that it's properly seated in its channel. Be very careful when doing this because it's very easy to damage this sensitive cable. Now I can tell that it's locked in place because when I pull on it, it doesn't pop back out. Now we want to orient the cable in the same orientation that it came apart with the cable facing down and the bottom of the rear camera plate also facing down. Pull as much slack out of it as you can, being very careful not to rip the cable out so that you have just enough slack to allow you to barely squeeze it in there. Slide it back together and now we can install our two screws. Squeeze it together tightly as you install the two screws and they should go right in no problem. And there you have it. That's how you change the camera cable in the DJI 03 system. Thanks for watching guys. Be sure to like and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos like this. I'm Les Flair C and we'll see you next time on Rotorite Workbench.